Watch my last video for some context, but TLDW, I switched from Linux to Windows on my main rig for my production needs and to get rid of some bugs found in my software and games. Oh boy, and some of you, yes you, either didn't watch the video and went straight to the comments to vent and project, or you heard every other word I said and took me completely out of context. And a good percent of you were understanding and reasonable about me going back to Windows for the time being, but the rest of you, oh, you're gonna get it. If you paid attention, the only thing I trash talked was Windows, and even those guys were understanding. And how do I know most of these dumb comments aren't just trolling? This is how. So one in three people who rated the video didn't like the idea of going against the grain for once. And the popular thing to do is to make a video about switching from Windows to Linux. But how dare anyone have an issue with my perfect operating system? 4% market share. I loved you, Linux, but your community smells like onions. So why don't you pseudo app to get yourself a life and SSH yourself into some bitches? Why would anyone want to use your trash ass operating system when y'all are only good at gatekeeping and not giving support for users trying to do the thing you constantly tell everyone to do? You know what would fix your problems? You're not running the right distro. You should run Arch. Yeah, well you should run off a cliff. And catch yourself. <laughs> By the way, I use Arch. Take my down vote. You missed your opportunity to recommend a Mac there, buddy. Ideal poster boy. I can't tell if this is a troll. Uh, I never suggested any of this. Uh, I never told anyone to leave Linux. I just stated what works better for me currently, as well as took the time to recommend FOSS software to help your privacy and security. If this comment is serious, then this person is one that did not actually watch the video. I had a reply to this one already, but Linux can just work, and for many people it does. But when it doesn't, stop making excuses for your inadequate devs. Eat my ass, I have work to do. Buy me a coffee, how about that? Better yet, become a channel member. You're using Manjaro, that's the problem. Manjaro is for losers! I don't know where this came from. I clearly stated other distros I've used. One problem with Linux is that everyone has a de facto distro that'll solve all of your problems. And I did try Ubuntu. I did try other Debian based distros. I said this and Fedora is not Debian. And in that video, I said I was on Nobara, which is Fedora based. Make up your mind, Linux community. Do I use Arch? Do I use Debian or do I use Fedora? There is no right answer when y'all claim to have the right answer didn't touch on app image. Maybe you're missing the point. This wasn't a Linux tutorial or review. I wasn't going to touch on everything. I should have also touched on flat packs and snaps, but I didn't because it was relevant to the topic of the video. Install a VM for Windows. Ah oh, yes, more advice about how to use my computer. This conflicts with the other request for simplicity. Oh, this is all you had to do. For control, uh, core control, add AMD GPU, uh, future mask, 0x to your kernel. Uh, handy, I guess, but again, that's a lot to ask of someone who just wants to install a software and have it work. Then there's always that fucker going, yeah, it's actually GNU plus Linux. Yeah, well, I have an idea. You can tie a GNU plus Linux around your neck. Now listen to our satisfied customer. <laughs> Why am I here? I didn't even do anything wrong. No, not me. I, I don't like the product. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, please. No, not me. Oh my god. No. <laughs> but seriously, absolutely none of the unreasonable hate comments about using Linux touched on video editing and production. When at the end of the day, we aren't just gamers. At some point, we must get actual real work done on our machines to get videos out in a semi-timely manner. Yes, I'm very aware DaVinci Resolve runs on Linux, but does it really? Here's the thing. While DaVinci Resolve Studio does in fact run on Linux, the number of issues plaguing this version of the software makes it a very frustrating experience. Where do I begin? Well, for one, the MP4 container does not support AAC audio which is a problem because most cameras utilize AAC audio. So exporting sound is kind of a problem. So then you have issues with distro support and compatibility. Formal support is still limited to CentOS slash Rocky 8.6, plus a modern NVIDIA graphics card. So if you have an AMD GPU, you may be out of luck. And no, I don't care what distro you say you got it working on, because unless you're a dev, there really is no way you have properly tested all supported features. 
so CentOS it is. On top of that, there's no VST support at all. The speed editor can't utilize Bluetooth, but then again, what can utilize Bluetooth on Linux? You know, that's not fair. You know, Bluetooth support on Linux kind of has been a lot better than it was on Windows, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them that. But for this specific purpose, the speed editor doesn't work. As Michael Horn said in his install DaVinci Resolve on any Linux distro video, this version of DaVinci Resolve is known to have problems and just break. Now many of you say, well then, just change what editing software you use. No, you know what? Absolutely not. I've been editing for a while now, and I'd like to think as someone who has done editing as a career, unlike many of the people who've commented on the last video, I know just a little on what I'm talking about. I used to say, no one NLE, know them all. But it's not necessarily the case, and no software is a single package and is full featured as DaVinci Resolve Studio. I already no longer use Adobe products for their shitty TOS. Why should I have to further compromise on the tools of my craft? I could go back to Avid and Nuke, but oh no, also bad Linux support, if any. And yes, I'm fully aware studios have been known to utilize both DaVinci and Nuke on Linux. There's just one problem with that. I'm not a studio, I'm a singular editor. Meaning I don't have a VFX guy, I don't have a colorist, I don't have a sound engineer, and I don't have an assistant editor. I'm all of those things, so it only makes sense that I would have what a studio would have as different pieces of software for each role in one complete package. Also, let me make it really clear something specific about other studios. A lot of studios are ran by corporations, and because of this, they have access to Enterprise Linux. Enterprise Linux has a lot of extra secret sauce that corporations won't just release to the public. So it makes sense that their software experience is a lot better than our software experience because it's kind of bullshit and capitalism. Blah, 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 blah. Kaden Live has issues utilizing the GPU and is slow to render. Oh, and if it was both up to me and within the budget, Cam and I would both be editing on Mac Studios in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Also, before anyone comments, I do absolutely utilize DaVinci Resolve's more advanced features. I take this software's feature set to its limit sometimes, whether it's working with Cinema DMG workflow in the color tab, or doing 2D and 3D compositing infusion, and utilizing Magic Mask and motion tracking, or having access to all my VST plugins, as well as the built-in tools in Fairlight. There are many things I need to know that they'll work every time, especially when I'm on a deadline for a client or Cameron. My software experience being predictable is mission critical. So as soon as there's parity between the three versions of DaVinci Resolve, absolutely, Linux all the way. But until then, I'm gonna do me and you can do you. But even if my editing PC doesn't run Linux, my camera does. You haven't knowledge about Linux. You're not wrong, I don't have a lot, but after three years of running Linux on my main rig, I did learn a, a handy command. So have you tried sudo rm hyphen rf forward slash star yourself? Tourist. Yeah, I was on a three-year vacation. Sorry. If you ever come back, I would suggest you give Nobara Linux with KDE a try. I showed you my freaking desktop. That's what I was running. You didn't even... Your problems with the distros you choose. I'm running Zorn OS and never had any problems. What I really learned from all this is that no one can agree on anything. Should you use Arch or Debian? No. Is Windows 11 better than Windows 10? No. Here's something you can try at home, and this might solve all of your issues. You can CD into outside, and then period forward slash touch grass, and you, you'll... Problem solved. Is that better? We're outside now, in the real world, where everyone gets along. In all seriousness, the operating system you decide to use doesn't matter. It's just whatever works best for you. That's the beauty of a personal computer. It's yours. And just as I said in the last video, I love Linux and I hate Windows. Think that wouldn't upset the Linux community. Yeah, you'd think. You, you really would, wouldn't you? I only opted to make this video to rattle the cage some more, to shake the baby, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's a box that does something. Be happy. Or don't. Like, subscribe, bye.